and good morning welcome back to another week with me i am so excited to get out of the house i've been cooped up been working work is good work is great but i am feeling stir crazy it's been the most rainy day and sometimes even though i like a rainy day at home sometimes it's nice to go thrifting on rainy days I am just gonna come walk around. Actually, my mother-in-law is coming this weekend. And I thought we would make it interesting by going thrifting for a gift for her because she loves thrifting. We do this together. We both are into true crime and thrifting. And so whenever she comes to visit, we usually do both. <laughs> we watch tons of true crime and then we go thrifting. I thought it'd be nice to just look around for maybe something festive, maybe something nice to get her that could be like an autumn thing. I know that she's remodeling her bathroom and making it kind of a seaside vibe, like seaside because they're in Florida. Yeah, we'll just go poke around. And then obviously we're gonna look at dresses and sweaters because that's what I'm into right now. No success. I didn't really find anything for her. I actually, there was a whole section of seaside things that I thought maybe she would like something in this pile, but I just didn't really think any of it was very cute. <laughs> it had potential, but it was kind of tacky. And then I started overthinking it. And then I actually just sent her a photo of the shelf and said, are you still decorating your bathroom seaside? And she said, oh, I'm pretty much done. So I'm glad I asked her. I mean, I'm sure if there was like something really good that was little and like would be perfect, you know, that would be fine to get her. But I don't really wanna buy her something she doesn't need. So what I think I'm gonna do is go to TJ Maxx now and just get like a little like snack or candy or something nice and just like a tiny little gift bag. Just something from TJ Maxx, nothing crazy. The song rips. <laughs> it started off so good. I do love me some metal, especially Norwegian death metal. I'm going into TJ Maxx now. Over yonder. We're gonna try to find a gifty poo for my mother-in-law poo. All right, well, I did end up getting something for her and me. <laughs> I got her a pair of Deer Foam Memory Foam slippers just because our house is hardwoods and she always forgets her slippers. You can never have too many. So even if she brought some cozy socks or whatever, I guarantee you she would not have remembered to bring something like this. She can leave it at the house and save it for whenever she comes to visit or she can take it with her. And then I actually, don't have slippers myself. My Uggs are destroyed. I had a really nice pair of the Ugg scuffettes and they're completely, at this point, I don't even know where they are, but they are destroyed. So I just got these because, oh my God. This, is this me in a slipper or what? Mellow and Mod Lady Slippers, memory foam as well. And they are white with black bows. I mean, if that's not me in a slipper so cute so i have now my own to scooch around in and that's all i got i love them so much check it out so we got the halloween candy early because i'm gonna have one of these because last year i waited too long and then ooh, mystery white mystery you have to guess the flavor that's making me salivate um no it's not is it really 
but we got these fun Twix that are green on the inside. And the problem is, is that we keep eating the candy. We have to make this last for one more day <laughs> before the trick or treaters come or else everybody's getting one piece of candy. And I'm usually a three piece of candy kind of household. Maybe two is enough. We'll just, why don't we just do two per trick or treater? I think it's raspberry. How do you know? Maybe it's placebo flavor. Whatever you think it's gonna taste like. Placebo flavor. That's what they should just say on it. Placebo flavor. Look at all the little birdies in our window right now. Cute. Robins. You know what kind of birds they are? I don't know, robins a moment at once. Oh, maybe. They're very cute. is looking pretty healthy you know it's shiny for being blonde but my roots are so bad that I have been on the fence I've been like well do I go to a salon and have them foil in like separate each little strand of hair so they don't damage my hair blonde it again like get make it more blonde because I personally feel like if I kept bleaching and toning my own roots that my hair health would suffer and I don't want to do it myself anymore because I finally got my hair to a point where I feel like it's recovering from years and years and years of abuse where it has been so many colors. <laughs> I have been so many colors under the sun. I had fun. I miss it. I miss playing, but I could never have long hair. And so I had to wear extensions for the longest time because I just never had healthy long hair. Now that I've been able to leave it the frick alone and sacrifice having fun with my hair so that I can get to this level, which to me is not bad it's not the best but it's not bad i don't want to mess with it again you know i don't want to keep doing this to myself so i have to go darker <laughs> i have to and this looks hella brunette does it not am i about to be a brunette because when i looked on the online on this blah, blah, blah. when i looked online this it says blonde on the side blonde beige which i've actually been trying to get to a blonde beige for a while and it just keeps falling out and going back to this say goodbye to this blonde hair have not seen my hair yet. Da, 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 da. Let me think. Okay, okay, wait. I'm getting little peaks. It's darker, but it's still blonde. <sighs> okay, I just didn't wanna not be blonde. Like I wanna be a little blonde and it'll fade too. So this is like, gosh, it looks so 80s right now. <laughs> I'm feeling very Helen Hunt with this hair. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like just looking at it while it's wet, it'll lighten up. Yeah, this is good. This is that mushroom blonde that I usually end up going for, but knowing that the, this is IGK, I'm gonna assume, since my hair took to it so well last time, that it's going to like this as well. I needed that. I really needed to do this. The roots were driving me crazy, but I was just like, I'm just gonna hold out until I go get my hair done. And I'm gonna give myself a bang trim, which somebody has also asked how I do. So let's do that together. <laughs> okay, so the first thing that I do is just blow dry my hair. So I get the round brush and just kind of get hair in the direction naturally that it needs to lay so that when I cut it, I'm cutting it where it belongs, uh, if that makes sense. Keep your face relaxed. Don't do this. Keep your face relaxed because I cut my bangs just above my eyebrow. So I usually will start from one side See about where my eyebrow line is. And I cut and then I pull back. Cut 
and then pull back cut pull back So many people are so anti-bangs, like they really, really hate bangs. <laughs> I've just seen some really strong opinions about bangs lately. I'm like, damn, gone, calm down. Some people just like their bangs, geez, what's wrong with that? I always go back and forth, you guys know that. I have like moments where I'm really into like more of a boho, like comes across the face curtain bang. But right now I'm back into loving the Betty bang. It's just a more of a doll-like pinup look. Now I'll just do the same thing and I always pull back because when you go like this, you're pushing the hair a little bit, you know what I mean? And so when you pull back, it straightens it back out. And I've always just done it this way. It's not like I ever saw anybody really teach how to do that. It's just what I've done and what has worked. And there is the new hair. I'm going to let, and the bangs aren't gonna, you know, they're gonna move. They're not gonna stay perfect. But you can even just like spray spray them with a little hairspray if you are leaving and you feel like it's gonna be kind of windy. Give it a little, just a little something something to hold them in place so they don't move around too much. But I like mine to stop. See how it, the framing where it stops. So where my eyebrows end, I like the hair to come down and frame that way. So that's how I do my Betty Bangs. I don't go any further past. Now I've seen people go up further past and it makes your face just look a little bit whiter. So I feel like I like my face to look a little bit more doll framed. So for me, that's how I kind of gauge where to stop cutting the bangs. Because if you like to frame a little bit wider of a face, you can even take your bangs even further out. So like if I cut that piece right there, see how it will widen my face even more. I'm gonna let my hair air dry a little bit. So in the meantime, while I'm letting it air dry, I will be getting my uh, ingredients out and ready for a little baking. The hair looks dark in this light. Let's get the pumpkin puree open. This is literally just a can of pumpkin puree. There's nothing else in this, just pumpkin. All right, now this is gonna go in the oven for about 15 to 18 minutes at 350. What do you think about my hair? It's darker. Can you tell? Mm -hmm. You can? Mm -hmm. It's actually kind of your hair color, which is just natural. Cookies are done. You can see the cream cheese inside. This is the ugly one. I always sample the ugly one. <laughs> Once you get that cream cheese in there. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Those are very good. Okay, I had to go get changed because I was running around so much. I'm so freaking hot. <laughs> oh.
but uh, I just put our projector out so I can't show you the front of our house because it's just a little weird to like show you exactly what my house looks like from the front. Love doing this every year. We have a projector and it switches out the design that you can put in the projector to various holidays and I usually do it for Halloween, um, Christmas, and New Year if we're here. But this year we've got spooky ghosts floating all over the house so it projects these scenes onto the house and it looks like the ghosts are like crawling across the front of the house and it goes the whole span from top to bottom and it's really fun. So I've got that on. I put my haunted house out front that I made way early in Halloween. It's kind of like the only craft I did really for Halloween other than just hella pumpkin treats and whatever else I did. Did I do any other spooky things? I feel like it's the typical thing where you're like, where did it all go? It's like the whole season just got away from me. And this is why I just celebrate early because when things start to pick up, I don't have time. I didn't have time for anything. What the hell? I'm sorry if I didn't do as much this year. I just have been really busy with work. We didn't even go to a pumpkin patch this year. We went to Iron Maiden instead. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. It's called the Star Shower Slideshow. And see the Halloween one? That's what we have going on. Ooh, I wonder if I should do the pumpkins and ghosts though, because I just have ghosts. Maybe we should do some color. Because I've got the second, this one. But now I'm thinking maybe I should do the orange. And then there's all the Christmas ones on this side, which I love. I love the Christmas ones. We really, I want to go all out this year for Christmas. <sighs> for decor. I say that every year though, and we never do. Bows, wait. Oh my gosh, there's bows. I want bows on my house. Anyway, you just plug it into the ground, put a little waterproof plug out there with it, and you're good to go. Tell you what, I enjoy my little table, my spooky table, but I'm really excited about transitioning this into our autumn table until Thanksgiving, because then after that is Christmas. So we have a lot of table settings to do, but I'm over the sticks. <laughs> I think I've been looking at the dead sticks for a couple of weeks now, and I'm ready for something else. But still, it's cool, and I want my mother-in-law to see it, because she'll think this is funny. So anyway, um, yeah, still continuing on the cleaning extravaganza. Started my squash and I realized I told you about it and forgot. I was gonna share this. So with squash, you wanna cut the ends off and then cut it down. So that way it's easier to cut. It smells like pumpkin. Beetlejuice is on, so it's really loud. <laughs> Sorry. It just literally smells just like pumpkin. So I just did a little bit of sauce, and then once the squash are ready, I'm gonna flip them over, put this on top, goat cheese. Goat cheese delicata boats with some butter lettuce. Delish. Mm. Mm -hmm. oh. mm. We have a lot of candy left. It wasn't really as many trick-or-treaters as we usually get, but when they did come, they came in large groups, so. I would get terrified because I'm like, oh no, they're gonna wipe me out. <laughs> and then they'd leave and I still have a bowl of candy thinking, I've gotta make this last. And then only a couple more groups like that came and then a couple little little stragglers here and there, which is fine. We've had years where we've had like not like under 10 and then we've had years where we've had 30 to 40. So it just depends. It's It's really dependent, I think, honestly, I think it's dependent on the weather. And it was dumping rain. I came here to talk about clothes. Let's just show you real quick what I got thrifting. 
and it's been washed already and hung up but this is a really lovely red will red look good with this hair it's the thing when you dye your hair all the things that you've known and loved and the hair color you were no longer apply you have to kind of get new favorite colors because the hair color really makes a difference but I need a tan too. I look so pale. <laughs> this is such a lovely, kind of almost 80s style, oversized sweater. It's a sweater dress. So here's the red, lovely, oversized sweater. So comfortable, so long. I mean, look at it, it's like past the knees. And I feel like I'm gonna wear this a lot, just hanging out. And if I wanna, you know, do something, go to the store, go get coffee, to throw on some fuzzy boots, you know, some, some Ugg boots or something, I like. I like it. And then I got some stuff from Free People. I haven't shopped Free People in a minute. And as much as I love thrifting, you guys, I love thrifting. Thrifting is like a pastime for me. Like my husband likes to golf. I like to go hunting for treasures and thrift stores and looking for really cool pieces and vintage that people have thrown away. That is my, my hobby and my talent. But <laughs> I also have a normal, like, just, I'm just a chick who wants clothes side of me, you know, and I just want a few, I want a few things that are brand new, that are mine, that I got, and I'm the first person to ever have worn it. I don't want to get pigeonholed, I guess, into being only thrift, you know, I want to be able to share fashionable things that I'm enjoying. So, with that said... Do I need to explain everything so much? Does everything need such a huge, like, disclaimer <laughs> beforehand? See, you know how last week I got a small free people thing? This is an XL, because I wanted it to be baggy. And look at the size of this shirt. <laughs> I definitely could have gotten away with a large, but I was like, no, I want it to be really big and baggy. But this is baggy. I love it. I hate how creaky my floors are. <laughs> Just, you know, one of the things of having a house that's 100 years old, when you walk around, <laughs> she creaks. I really, really, really like this shirt. Like really, li I need more. Cause this, I honestly would love this in every single color and just have this as my go-to t-shirt because I love how, look at how big the pocket is and it like falls to the side like that. It's so baggy. Oh my gosh, I love it. A little see-through. It's got that raw kind of like cotton look to it. That's got that etching in it, which I love. Looks almost kind of see-through, but not like a static TV. But if you want, you can like tuck it in in the back too. Cause I feel like the back tuck is now the thing. You tuck the back and you leave the front baggy. I'm into that. <laughs> I switched out my socks as you can see. I wanted to have the black ones on instead. But uh, yeah, I really, really like this. All right, and this is a loungewear set. So remember when I was like talking about last in my last vlog, how I wanted to sit around after Thanksgiving dinner in a food coma with my family, watching movies and drinking eggnog. <laughs> and I was like, I need a new loungewear set for that. <laughs> so I immediately got online and bought something brand new that I can enjoy and look at this. I actually think I do want to also get the oatmeal one because I would have preferred the oatmeal one. The reason why I got the red one is because it matches the sweaters that I was thinking of wearing, that like Tommy Hilfiger one that I got. So I was like, oh, it'll match that better. So I got that. I got the red to, yeah, to look more Thanksgiving and festive. So it's really just because it looks festive, but um, it's so nice, it's so soft. And this I got in an XL too, I believe, yeah. So I don't really know what size I am in free people if I'm a larger or an extra large. Look how long it is. <laughs> if you're somebody who's really tall, like if you have really long legs and you need clothes that is gonna fit long. So far free people seems like it's for tall people because this is like pulled all the way up too. I'm like wearing it hella high-waisted. If you wore this like around your waist, yeah, I think these are meant to be worn high-waisted. But oh my gosh, how cute is it? I was gonna save it for the weekend with family for Thanksgiving, but I don't know if I can resist waiting three weeks to wear this. But what I'm thinking is, is I love it so much, I wanna actually order the other one too. The oatmeal colored one, or maybe I'll find something else similar that's like a matching set, but I love it so, so much. It's so good. the 
of it. are so cute. I love them. I have so many bags. I don't need any bags. Oh, I collect bags. Oh, you do? oh yeah. <laughs> I just love the like little <laughs> scenes. <laughs> so pretty. Oh, I love this. I bet this is like, oh, I love owls anywhere though. Oh, yeah. Are you still in an owl thing or are you like, no more? I don't do any more. No more owls. Yeah. Look at that thing. It is so cool. It's all like wind chimes and outdoors. Found oh. Damn. Fountains and bird baths. Yeah, no, you need a good peaceful you need a peaceful sound. Whoa, they're seventy percent off with their wind chimes. You have to find a good one. It doesn't chime enough. I bet there's more inside. All the shops. Got a little coffees. So this place is a thrift. This is. Oh yeah. See, you know, I've never been back here before. Oh my gosh, look at this sewing machine. I just saw one of these at the Goodwill for like eighty bucks. That'll be tasty. Yeah. Oh no. Where's the lipstick that I want to wear? Got up, had my mother in law teach me how to make perfect bacon. She has this trick and made the entire packet of bacon and we ate it all. It was so crispy and so delish. Oh my god, last night we watched this show that was called Chimp Crazy or something like that on HBO and it was like, f how many episodes? There was like five episodes. And we didn't realize we were investing in like a series. We thought we were just watching a quick documentary. It sucked us in and we watched it all night. <laughs> and it was really, really sad and really crazy and shocking and it was just all of it. It was, I think it's produced by the same guy who did, who did, who did Tiger King. I think it's the same producer, I think. Don't quote me on that. Hi, who's this? You can come in. <laughs> Politely waited. But yeah, it was nuts. We were like glued to the TV. I'm gonna go with Dolly today, actually. Glued to the TV all night. It was like some really graphic, horrible ch like chimp attacks on people, which is really tough. I had to walk away from some of it. But luckily I got to make dinner, so I was like, I'm gonna go make dinner because I couldn't watch some of it. It's too graphic. That's fine. I was gonna go for that dark color one, but I just did a, my first like wash and blowout. I don't know why one wants to go this way. It looks like a wave. <laughs> that was not intentional. But um, this is like my first wash since I colored it a couple days ago. So just nice to kind of see how it's gonna fade out. I'm gonna wear a hat. And then we're going to go to the WWC Moore Observatory. It's a really cool part of Wright Park here in Tacoma that has a dome-like shape to the building. And it has all these exotic, I think it's exotic, but like really crazy cool plants inside. And then the whole park itself is beautiful. And I've actually never gone and fully walked and explored the park before. So what better time to do it than when someone's visiting, right? Cool, look at the little turning fan inside. Look at those up there.
beautiful park though, isn't it? It is. It feels like the central park of the Pacific Northwest. And there's a bridge somewhere where you can like go over it. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, right here it is. <laughs> I see a bridge. <laughs> yeah. Look at how beautiful. Because it's so cold, you would think it would only be when it's warm. Ooh, beautiful. Cool. They're so red. Bocce ball, oh, or you ball. can play cricket, or um, what's the other one with the mallet? Croquet. They're big out here now. 